So in this video, we're going to look on a more on brush creation tools. And we can access by selecting our brush tool and in a brush properties panels. On the bottom left corner, we have options to open brush tool. You can also access from the windows and then click on brush creator. So if your brush creator is minimized, just click expand it. Also, what I want to do for this, let's just a little bit um, drag and expand our tool. If you want to use it a little bit more often, remember you can always come bring and just place it in the same area. On this case, you will have your brush creator tool and your brush options together. So in one area. So it's again, depend how you prefer. So for this reason, I maybe just put it on a side. On this case, we'll have a preview window and as well in our area. Um, after when it's done, I will collapse it and remove so we can keep it consistent here. Let's go ahead and first overview what we have. And the brush creator, you can see right here we have a type. So it's a particle system. This is preset the brush behavior. So currently it is particle system claim. We have a ribbon, flow, linear, elastic, and fuzzy. We'll look on them a little bit before and the same like in the brush tool. So they are very similar behavior when you're selecting. So the next, we have an area with a shape. So in a shape, it says visual settings concerning the shape and opacity of the brush. So this is two main zones will be. So let's look a little bit closer first on our particle system where we can set the behavior. In some ways, you'll find this very similar, this behavior brush creator from brush what we have above with a few um, changes. Mostly it is a little bit more um, control and adjustments allowed us to do. Notice we have similar things as before in the brush, get more, same things we can access to and preloaded extra brushes. Even if you don't want to purchase them, you can always just open and preview and see if you like it or get inspired by other brushes as well. Okay, so right here, let's look on particle system. And we, as mentioned before, we have a flame. And this is a very classic uh, flame particle system that we have it previously was in flame painter. And we used by creating images like going fire. So it's very classic one. The next we have it the ribbon which is produced as a ribbon particles going around flow. That is a strokes flow with cursor and it's a little bit more precision on this. Next, we have the linear based uh, particle system. Elastic is kind of very interesting because it is produce this uh, more smooth uh, corners when you're going around. So it is um, more versatile particle system kind of. And a uh, fuzzy, it is a string based um, winding particle systems. So all this kind of general behavior changes. From it. Notice also, as we selecting different one, they all have a different or sliders combinations. So depend on what behavior, general behavior that we have at all this different type and change something. Okay, in our shape, we have our blending, light and dark and normal. So it's normally usual color. We have an additive and subtractive type modes. Some of the design for a little bit lighter and darker. How to go in with this? I'll say generic, you want to use it normal. If your background, it is 50% gray and darker, then you want to use it lighten. If it's a 50% and brighter going wider, then you want to use a darker for better effect. Of course, you don't necessarily need to stick to this, but it's a how those blending more best work for you. So also we have an opacity, same we have it concrete. Notice right here, we can enable touch sensitive if we need a pressure sensitive for each of them. We also have it properties, fill, line, and dotted. And as we select those properties, we change below on the type of the stroke. We have it also sequence for the line and on the dots, we have more add particles. So this is kind of newer ones and they allowed way more 
uh, creating flexibility and kind of very cool, interesting new effects we can creating. Like we can use it even um, dots and use particles on our dots as well. Okay, also, as we look closer in the strokes, we have the ability to use the image. If we select image, we have it property. And this is will be very familiar if you play before in a palette panel with the image preloaded. So right here, we have our options to open image library. So you can see we can preload it from the image. And this will be a little bit different because it's using more as a particle. We also have options to, okay, let's select this one. We'll have it also um, from the layer. So if we have any specific layers, we import it and we want to use it. We can select it. We can also import the image. And again, it's best if you're using PNG for these ones with the pro, uh, background, but you can use any other ones. Invert, flip, uh, rotate, flip. And also we have the options to repeat it on the link and height. So we can have it a multiple different repetition on this. Okay, so there also, you notice well was on that line. Let's go back to the fill. Uh, where we can put strokes and you notice right here we have also options to have it on details if we want to how much details when we create it on a point and let's bring a little bit there here and create a smoother line and let's continue to exploring other options in the next part of the tutorials